Well, good day, folks. Uh, today, I'm going to do a uh, part two of uh, secrets to phrasing. I've had lots of uh, great comments on that, a lot of people asking about it uh, and asking me about some other ideas and other just kind of further explain things. So I'm just going to do that again um, and kind of go on from there. I'm going to be in the key of G minor and uh, again, like I mentioned before in the other one, I don't care what the chord progression is. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm the lead guy. Uh, I don't know a song that I'm jamming with in, uh, you know, in, in the band. I don't know what song it is they're playing. No idea. I'm just going to go up there and just pick. So, uh, but I know the keys in G minor, so I, I know I can use my pentatonic and all the relative major minor scales around that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this rhythm on here, and I will leave a link in the uh, description below of the backing track that you can use the exact same one to kind of fool around with. So I'm just going to pick uh, to this for a couple of minutes and then I'll stop it and then kind of uh, do starts and stops and just kind of show you what I'm, what I'm doing and, and what I think is a, a great technique and a great idea and a great uh, uh, process to, to uh, really get the best phrasing you can. Uh, hooks are really so important. I, I love hooks and repetitive lines create nice hooks and how to kind of go back to them when you need to. So anyway, enough talk. Uh, I'll pick for a couple minutes just to kind of give you an idea what uh, what I'm doing and then I'll stop and start over and kind of just break it down a little bit. So here we go. Okay, so what I did there, obviously, repetitive lines, I start, you want to start very, very simple. I think it was something like, uh, okay, so that's, that's my, that's my basic hook. That's, that's the, uh, that, that's the first part of the tune that you want to grab people with, keep it going. Second time around, just a slight little variation of it. You can add little pieces at the end once you land on the on the note that uh, resonates the best for your ear when you're uh, in a certain key or chord, whatever they're in at the time of the chord progression. 
and you land on your on a certain note that just rings well to your ear. As opposed to say if I was uh, doing this, like that's that's the seventh of the of the G minor, and that's fine. Uh, but it's not. It's just not as as settling, not as relaxing, not as um, smooth. Like, I'm not really sure what I'm trying to say here for that word, but it, it, you can you can you can feel when you're going to rest for a, for a longer time than maybe normally. Because again, I'm a big advocate of letting the band play. Let the band play for a measure too. You know, just be quiet. Let the band play. Uh, so if you're going to do that. Yeah, rest on the on the note that is the most easy to listen to. You know, so let me just start this again, and uh, I'll just play a little bit, stop it, and just kind of see what what happens from that. Kind of a long intro in this thing, but it's cool. Really. Back 
back to every single day. Real simple again. So, uh, basically, start with a simple hook, uh, dress up your hook a little bit uh, with each, you know, uh, measure or two, just add a couple notes at the end of the same type of a hook, and then uh, keep building on that. When it goes to a complete different chord change or different feel, get out of that pentatonic, go to a different scale, pick something completely different. Uh, 
and be repetitive on that as well. Then when it goes back to the original, go back to your main lick. You'll always have a time, especially in a, in a, in a long backing track like this, you're always going to have a time, a lot of time to dress it up um, and go crazy for you know a few measures if you want. And then the trick to that as well too is go back to your original hook right from the start. Uh, as simple as possible. Just, uh, just exactly the way you did it when you started. Go back to that and I'm telling you that will grab people because it'll bring them back. It'll bring them back to where they started and they'll, they'll just be blown away. You gotta trust me on this. Simple is best. So on that note, I'm uh, gonna uh, end this video. I think uh, if you have any other questions or any other comments, please leave them below. Any other suggestions you'd like to have me uh, talk about, that'd be great. Uh, be sure to check me out on my website, jwcollinsauthor.com. And uh, again, I'll leave the link for this backing track below in the description so you can find it. And uh, until next time, have the best day you can. See you then.